<laughs> ah. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm HexTSL. This is my good friend Wink. I jumped him again. I guess. You did, you did. <laughs> also, hello, hi. Hello everybody. Um yeah, t- this is this is the show. Oh. If uh, if you're following along on YouTube, you can there go to trendy.hexdsl.com. That's trendy.hexdsl.com and click on the most also, recent file for the show notes. Yes. And if you hate YouTube, it is yet again on trendy.feather.onl. Trendy.feather.onl. That's trendy.feather.onl. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so 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 wing. While we waiting for everyone yeah. to arrive, right? I went I went yeah, to yeah. the Barbie movie yesterday. <gasps> That's not on the list. I know. Now it's worth knowing that I'm not going to show anything for the Barbie film on screen because Mattel would destroy me with copyright infringement claims. So you can just I imagine. I heard something. I heard something about Mattel. What did you hear? And Barbie. What did they do? Uh, because Barbie did super well. Right. They is. Um, they're making they're making uh, a Mattel cinematic universe. I mean, I mean, it's that's... going to have Barbie and what was it one? Polly Pocket. Polly Pocket. Polly and that one. Um, that oh oh, hold on. Cinematic universe. Let's let's get that fucking list. You continue your story. Oh. Sorry, my my bit rate just died briefly, so I just sat yeah. and just watched the camera what it what it cleared off. I don't know what that was about. I exited so Steam. I think it might. Okay, so first of all, Mattel so Cinematic Barbie, Polly Pocket, Hot yeah. Wheels, a Barney. Barbie Cinematic Universe is a stupid idea. That was a one trick pony that they can't repeat. I guarantee it. Right. Um, uh, other Mattel properties with upcoming movies include American Girl, Viewmaster, Masters of the Universe. Magic Eight Ball and Uno. Sorry, they're gonna make an Uno cinematic universe. This is all part of the same cinematic universe. Oh, okay, because that's totally different. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Masters of the Universe, topical. I mean, so yeah. Is on my shirt. Oh my god, it is on my shirt. This is such an old shirt. I was just saying to Wing, right? The 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 hole where your head goes in the shirt is so big. I have to put like because it's such an old shirt at this point. So in you order think, to make it look like think, a normal shirt, I have to have like like half my neck is exposed, which is a bit weird. Do you think these are all live action? Are you going to make live action He-Man? Oh my god. I'm not even joking. I'd be rigid for that. That would do me a treat. Yeah, they should, they should get all the same actors back from that, that 80s movie. <gasps> that would be so good. Do that. I mean, they're all probably like 80 or dead. 80 or dead. There's only two... Ooh, like ooh. when that skeleton over, man still oh, alive? Ske- yeah, oh, he skeleton. killed it, right? He was killed. No, he's dead. Uh, he killed it. I'm Is sure he? Dead. Oh, that's dead. a shame. He was really good. For anyone that hasn't seen the uh, the 1980s Master of the Universe film, it's not very good, but I enjoy it despite it being rubbish. But the guy that plays Skeletor, he's doing Shakespeare while every- it's the same sort of performance that you get out of. Um, out of Michael Caine in the Muppets Christmas Carol, right? Like everyone else is a Muppet, yeah. and he's fucking doing Shakespeare, and it's the same kind of vibe with uh, it's the same it kind is. of vibe with the Muppets film. Uh, everyone the, else the, in that Muppets movie film. was hired because they looked like characters. They, yeah, they couldn't act. Yeah, and he was hired. In fact, He Man, I'm not, I'm not sure He Man could actually speak English. <laughs> he could, he really could. Anyway, okay, he had a see... very heavy accent. He did. I'm He's sorry. Dutch. That did. I. That. Yeah. Okay. That came off as more racist of me than I intended. Wing hates but, you know, the Dutch. I say I do not. I they're don't they're Dutch. they're cool. Where's Dolph Lundgren? They were. He was. He's such a. Yeah. Dolph okay. I mean, he was not a good actor, but you know, whatever. Anyway. Is it, what, I'm checking. He's. I'm assuming he's Dutch. What? Till what? He's. Oh, he's Swedish. Wing mm-hmm. hates the Swedish. There you go. I have zero opinion on the Swedish. Uh, can I go Wikipedia? Oh, that's right. Wing hates the Swedish so much you can't even form an opinion about them. Uh, the Barbie, uh-huh. the Wikipedia Barbie movie page should be safe, right? There you go. It's just, just the Barbie movie. Um, I'm sorry, you, you're using their logo in a video? Yeah, you're right. I should probably not bother. 
Um, we'll scroll down. Oh my gosh, we'll just keep scrolling. I mean, oh, there's the original Barbie. I mean, I don't have a VOD. I'll just, I'll just show random pictures of Barbie. I don't care. <laughs> you don't give a shit. Everyone should watch your screen's me. reaction. Uh, yeah, okay, so... <sighs> Okay, there's a Barbie cafe in Taiwan. That's pretty dope. Anyway, the Barbie movie, right? I went to see it last night. Now, the, the important thing here is, first of all, let's just get out of the way. The movie's really good, right? It's about, if you were to divide it into a pie and you were to slice it into four even slices, three of the slices are very enjoyable. The last slice is made of turd because the writers wrote a story that they didn't know how to end, which is fine because it's so charming I don't mind. But it's pretty obvious that they had no fucking clue how they was going to end this movie. Right? It's really obvious, right? And also, Will Farrell cannot act. Stop hiring him. He's awful in everything. There you go. Okay. The movie's exactly what you expected. It's pink. It's charming. It's delightful. It's a bit deeper than you would expect for what is billed as a children's film. Um, it's, 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 worth, it's worth a look. Um, I enjoyed it quite a lot. But, it, you know... It's not. It's not. For Hex. Yeah, it's not the Oscar-winning masterpiece that people would say. I am. Yeah, Ken off. Yeah, the, to be honest, like Ryan Gosling's Ken performance was the standard. Bit like Margot Robbie was was beautiful and perfect as always, but that's just standard for Margot Robbie. Um, but like Ryan Gosling as Ken, he was method acting. Man, he was acting his little soul out about the dumbest shit. I feel like he was told that Ken was the butt of the joke, and he was like, "No, I'm going to out act this script." Right? It's it, he was like. Whew. It was beautiful. It was it was pretty great. Ryan Gosling nailed it. Anyway, that's my review of the movie. Not what I'll say. People who review movies can talk about that. I want to talk about my experience of going to the cinema. How was that? Uh, okay, so I'm last time I was at the X cinema. did not want to go to. The I don't cinema. like going to the cinema. I don't. I, I think the neither, cinema neither, neither do I. is an awful, awful experience. It's the worst way to watch films, and I don't really know why people like it. Right. So I went to the cinema because yeah. my daughter wanted to go. So I walked into my Odeon for the first time in, I think, a decade. I don't. I think it might be, or it's going to be close to a decade. The last film I saw was Resident Evil Afterlife. Um, I don't. Whenever that came out, it was the last time I went to the cinema, as far as I recall. Right. I goes into the cinema, and I walks in, and it's a different building to last time. Right. It's a whole different building. Right. I was a bit confused about it because it was so drastically different. Right. And I go get also hello Andrew Singleton. I saw your comment the other day. Good comment. Um, and there's like big like screens like in McDonald's, like iPads on sticks, and there's no people or counter. It's just like a weird dystopian nightmare where you have to use screens to get. I wanted Max was like, "Can we get some nachos?" And I was like, "Yeah, you can get some nachos." And I looked around. I'm like, like an old man. My daughter had to help me. So because it's the screen, and we ordered nachos, which by the way, I paid fifteen pounds for those nachos. Yeah, fifteen pounds for nachos. I mean, if there's no people there, it sounds like no one's stopping you from bringing in your own shit, right? I don't, yeah, I don't think they would. But like, so I play, and it was a big tray. Now it was like a full-on family bag of nachos with three dips, was right? There people serving the nachos. No, there was, was there was people robot? serving the nachos, but there was three, okay. like, and a big coke, like a massive, like, like two liters. It was like probably like a liter and a half of beverage, right? And a big old tray, and it's fifteen quid. And I went, I made this face. I went. <sighs> like at the idea of paying for it but I, whatever right that was fine as well you expect that right and then it, it goes in and then like it's all like super futuristic right it's all like super fucking futuristic like a little bit crazy how futuristic it is right um because there's all these posts there's super slick like i walked in and then i was like i don't actually know where the film is and max is like i know and she, she we walk around the, and there's just like a little door and then there's this like big corridor of screens and there's a lady going tickets please but your tickets on your phone and she scans ah, your phone a human. yeah but she scans your phone right and then it goes into the cinema and i'm like i i and bear in mind ticket it's 18 pounds a ticket at this point at the cinema Right, just to put that out there. So for the price for two of us going to the cinema, it should have been like thirty odd quid, thirty seven quid, right? Um, yeah. Uh, and then, but like I got some discounts, so I got two tickets for twenty quid, so which is not terrible, you know. So whatever. It goes in the cinema, and there's like half as many chairs as there used to be, right? And they're all it's like they've took every other row out, and there's just a fucking armchair there. So I sit down in Hello. my fucking armchair, and I sit down. It just keeps going, right? It just keeps going like this, right? Because the fucking arm, it was ridiculous, right? 
and there's a little button on the side so I can recline. So I had my own fucking bed while I watched the film, complete with a little tray, which was ridiculous. And then I watched adverts for 30 minutes. Fucking seriously? Yeah. Also I timed it. I literally timed it, right? It was like 30 minutes of adverts, right? And then at the end of the adverts, he went, the, the voice I meant, prepare yourself because something wonderful is happening. And I was like, oh, yeah, the film going to start now. This is what I actually paid for. It's like trailers. And I don't know if people are dumb or not, but trailers are adverts for films. They're just more ads. There was another 15 minutes of trailers, right? So 45 minutes after I arrive, after watching adverts and paying £15 for nachos I didn't want, the fucking film finally starts, right? I do not yeah. like the cinema. Again, the no, film was fine. It was very experience. good. It was great. But why would anyone go? And every about every third advert, it was like, for fourteen ninety nine, you can come to cinema as many times as you want. I was like, I'll give you fourteen ninety nine to don't make me come back. Like this is awful. Um, bear in mind, at home, I've got a recliner armchair with cup holders. There's the electric recliner. I mean, I mean, that TV. You're, you're I've got an eighty six. Probably the same size. Yeah, yeah. I've got an eighty six. Now, if you look at how big the screen is at the cinema versus how far away you are, and you do the maths of scale, and you scale it all down to the screen's eighty six inches perceptually. I don't think there's much difference between the experience I have at home and the experience I have in, in theatres. I mean, there isn't. But people people are weirdly... Fucking awful. I don't know, defendant of cinemas, and I don't get it. Also, Moon Pope says it's been nearly 20 years since he went to the cinema. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Good. Don't... don't Honestly... Keep that, like, keep that count going. A bit that made me laugh, and it literally made me laugh out loud like a lunatic, right? Was when I'm just bitching. I'm like, last time I was at the cinema, it was a fucking counter and a man, a man with a badge that said Daisy. I remember that well for some reason. Serve me drinks, right? And 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 he gave me popcorn and charged me seven pound. And Max just looks at me. She just went, yeah, but if this was the eighties, you think this was really cool? And I was like, yeah, that was that's true. And that actually made me laugh because I'm like, yeah, I'm literally living in my dystopian future and I'm not enjoying any of it. <laughs> just just like. I enjoyed okay. any of it. Seems to be a trend. Yeah. But like, it just, yeah, it no, just, it why, do, why worse, do people um, go? It's I awful. It's been, it's been, I don't know. I literally can't remember what I've seen in the cinema last. No, it might have yeah. been, I can't remember. I literally can't remember. It's been forever and it was <laughs> terrible. I just, it's all yeah. it was terrible. I don't, I don't, I like, but aside from, oh, and, and yeah, let me tell you about the bin in a second. Um, But overall, the film, I enjoyed the film. Daughter was happy. Um, it was it was it was fine. It was fine. This is this is a picture of me and daughter at the cinema enjoying Barbie. Uh, there you go. You know yeah, I'm sorry. Movie. Did you have did you have your phone out during the movie? Yeah, no one gives a shit anymore. Apparently, there you go. Um, yeah, no one gives a shit anymore. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Here's his his like his like picture when of you, one of the When adverts. you say you have a giant chair, does that mean there's like adequate spacing around chairs? Oh yeah, it's like it's just like it's like my arm it's like my armchair at home. It's literally like they've bolted one of those to the floor. That's literally it. That's all they've done. Yeah. One of one of the things about cinema was always the chairs were too tightly packed together. No, I think the problem is less people went to the cinema and they cited reasons like I hate the chairs, they're uncomfortable, I don't want to sit there. So they tackled some of it and then just added it on the bill. So like, you know, you paid eighteen pounds for a ticket to see a film and watch adverts for forty five minutes. It's um I will say though, one thing I enjoyed more than Barbie, right, was the the advert the trailer for the Trolls movie. Um Trolls Three's coming out and that is a film I'm very that's I'm way more excited about that than I was for anything else they advertised, but like Trolls Three looks great trolls one great trolls two great trolls three gonna be great safe bet never seen any of them uh yeah they're yep <laughs> awful 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 yeah <laughs> cinema cinemas yep. are trolls terrible. is good though we should we should watch trolls one night um but yeah i came out of the cinema and i did the ritualistic i've just drunk three thousand liters of liquid i need a wee and uh yep. and <laughs> and uh and I come out of the toilet and I'm peeing, right, at the urinal. And mm -hmm. they've got, like, TV screens in front of you. So I'm, like, half oh, is watching... Oh, is this the, the hands yeah. in the trash thing? Right. I'm half watching the, a weird trailer. So I come away from the urinal and I go to have, wash my hands. Where there's Wait, another they've fucking got TVs t in yeah, the... Yeah, they've got TVs in there. And then I'm washing okay. my hands, like, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And I hear a sound from the TV, like an Oppenheimer ad or something. So I glance. And I step to the side and I put my hands in the dryer, right? 
<laughs> and after a few seconds, I look down and realise I'm just hovering my hands over a bin in the wall. Right. <laughs> it was... And I was like... I looked around and there's just like two guys like looking at me like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I just left. I was like, fuck's sake. But yeah. There's like literally hand dryer, hand dryer bin. It's just like, <laughs> what? What is this? The Does it look the same? The- yeah, the bin was in the wall. I thought it was like a hand dryer. You know those like poncy hand dryers where it's like like yeah. you put your oh, that's what I thought it was I'm just sticking my hands in a bin I'm like yeah I felt like a bit of a prat it made me laugh quite a lot though um yeah good it made me laugh it was fun uh but yeah like it was like don't go to the sin don't endorse this like what the fuck is the logic why do we need a big old fucking shitty building for this right I've got a television at home I'll give you money just let me watch it at home like why? I mean, I yeah, I mean that a hundred percent. But also, sometimes I feel like they don't want your money. Literally, that it's yeah, so, literally. It's, it's it's so hard. It's so hard to just buy stuff. Just let me. It's just... like no, yeah. no, you don't want to buy it. You want to watch fifty ads. It's like no, just just let me buy it. Yeah, it, it's. I, it, it, yeah. And when I say buy it, I mean buy it. Yeah, I just, just want to own I, it. actually I had I had I had this discussion. We me and Matt were talking about this the other day. It's like I I mean this is semi related, but I just, I don't want stuff. You know? <laughs> just, the yeah. only way to buy movies and actually have them is, a DVD. is to buy Blu rays yeah, and Blu-ray, DVDs yeah. and shit. I'm like, I don't want that. Just yeah. give me I will pay you money for just a DRM free down digital download. What's the yeah. problem? I'm... Like you could like if I want to pirate like thing is though right like you could piracy is so available it doesn't matter I'll just pirate stuff whatever like at this point it doesn't I mean that's even true matter. but like even at that like if you if you watch some big book bunny and you feel like giving Blender some money you can't just you, there's no way to do it right it's yeah. like no I don't want a physical thing <sighs> yeah like I like, just like I have this I know like, what you mean about stuff right because. Like, I have a lot of books. They're the only things I kind of want. And I only want them. The reason I want books, right, uh, is because, like, a Kindle can fail. I want a book. A book is something that if all this world ends, electric goes off, I can sit and read fucking whatever, right? I mean, I, want okay, I feel like print. books are, out of all media, books are, like... The ones that make the Kind of sense. the exception. Even mm-hmm. even though they're not... I, I, just, I just want them digital as well. But I stared the thing that makes the most sense, yeah. Yeah. But like most books, I buy digitally. But sometimes I'm just like, I just want to just just give me a fucking printed book. I'll I just guess read what, that. I've never had that feeling, but yeah, I'd... yeah. There are certainly like, re- like a good example. Of this book on my desk, right? Like a reference book, I want in print. Right, a book I want. There are some books I want to get a highlighting pen and go nuts with. That requires physical media. Most things yeah, I'm the... fine with. Most factors, most, most like but novels yeah. and stuff, I'll just have digitally. I don't it's really like... care. Like I went looking. I can't. What did we actually? I have it on the list. I'll talk about it later. But we were watching. We watched some movies. I was like, I would like to support these peoples, you know. Yeah, I want to more give them than, money more to than we already you. did by more than we already did by buying it already, you know. But yeah. we don't want fucking Blu-rays. I don't want you go looking and it's like I can't. Like everything is like here. Do you want this poster for fifty? I was like, no, I don't want a poster. I don't want a DVD. I don't want a Blu-ray. Just. Sell give me the me some fucking way to give movie. Just, just give me some way to give you money. Yeah. Even slap a slap a donate button on there and say, "Okay, go pirate it now." I don't care. <laughs> That's that'd be dope. Like yeah, but like just yeah, just just let me just yeah. It's just like you know, fucking, it's so stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah It's yeah, like yeah. I'm not like yeah. I don't know. It's stupid because half of them like I I couldn't even go to like. Like, you could buy movies on YouTube. I couldn't do that because they're Apple exclusive. So, like, you know, it's it's bollocks. Um, Andrew Companies Singleton, make it really, really hard. Andrew Singleton in chat said, what's the problem? The problem, dude, is you want DRM. <laughs> you don't want DRM, yeah. yeah. But see, what gets me is DRM. DRM, just, it, it, it doesn't make sense to me. It's like, as you said, piracy is so readily I available... Mean, they can never, they never, it doesn't work. Actually, the I've games... just, 
I've just be it games or movies. Where, it's just like what? Where do Sorry. people buy films? I don't actually know. Like, so if I want to buy a film right now, so if I want to buy the movie Alien now, um, buy. Well, you Alien. assume Amazon. Alien, Alien. I can't spell Alien apparently. Al, Alien. Buy. I want to buy Alien. Movie. Oh my god! What is wrong with me? Uh, I assume I, I I have to assume it's like Amazon, right? It's Amazon or YouTube or but when, you, when buy you buy Google it on like Play. YouTube, it's like tied. Google Play doesn't exist anymore. It's all integrated into YouTube. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy and buy Alien. Well, I'm not. Have... I'm just gonna try and buy Alien on my phone right now and see what happens. I'm gonna try. And buy I mean, Alien you can you can you can buy. I I think these are digital versions on Amazon. I can't like go to. I'm gonna be honest. Yes, they're Alien. streaming. Yeah, but they're all like tied to services and accounts, and you know, it's like just. Buy. You don't actually own it. I mean, no, you don't. But that's like I don't see what the difference is. It's like surely okay. it makes more. Is, it this... makes more sense to like if someone's going to watch something a few times, it makes sense to give them a copy because it's not costing you to stream it to them, right? Yeah, but they want they don't want you pirated it, even though everyone can pirate it just by recording their screen when they watch it. Um, okay, so to put this into context, this is what the point I was gonna make, right? Is I can buy Alien on DVD on on eBay for about about minus two pence, right? It's like nothing, right? To buy Alien digitally right now on the iTunes store, which apparently is the first thing that comes up, it's nine pounds of ninety nine to buy Alien. Uh, the movie that you know, the movie came out. that has been out like forever is like nine ninety nine. Like I, I yeah. don't quite. Yeah, I don't quite. This is the problem. This is why they don't want to suck in Sally. Yeah, yeah. And if I make these things needlessly expensive, and then wonder why nobody buys, them. or or they'd make it needlessly expensive so no one buys them. Do you think they don't want you buying them? You think that's the trick? Of course they don't. I mean, that's that's Library. that's like. That's the future of the world, right? Don't do anything. Okay, so I had a bunch of movies and TV shows on uh, on YouTube, apparently, which is new. I own a couple. I mean, but, yeah. I own all of Star Trek and everything ever all at once. Good movie. Yeah, so... <laughs> I do wonder though, if I, if I buy Star, if I buy like okay, if we're everything, ever all at once, a good example. I buy that on YouTube, right? Do they get any money? How much do they get for per sale? Like, what happens when I buy I one copy know, of that I film? I don't even know what you can't even find information anywhere on what the split is. Like, you know, YouTube's obviously taken some of that. I'll be honest. If I was going to buy a movie, I would probably buy it on YouTube just because of all these services. It's the one that's least likely to 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 go bust. Like, to be honest. I don't, mm. I don't, I can't see YouTube actually like, like it might go subscription or whatever, but I can't see YouTube stopping, not give me access to my films anymore because it used to be a thing called Flickster and that went bust and then I had to migrate everything to YouTube, which is why I've got things on YouTube. But yeah, like just, mm. yeah. But the thing is, they, they say that you can't get DRM free and stuff, right? But you can buy a fucking DVD, which has got like such absolute basic copy protection that any idiot can can rip it. I was ripping them fucking things in, in like 1998 or some shit, you know? That's 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 the thing, though. Legally, I think legal-wise, as long as it has some form of copy protection, they can sue you for taking it out. Yeah, but who cares? I'm Like, they're not good at it. <laughs> like, they're not good at it, are they? I have never shared a movie in my fucking life, you know? It's like... I've never gone out and ripped the DVD and shared a movie, no, right? No, neither have I. It's no. like... It's like what's? I mean, I I genuinely haven't. But it's like you know, what's what's the difference between handing someone a DVD and letting them have a DRM free video file? There's no difference. Function no difference. Yeah. No. I also, also, that. like streaming services and you know, attacking people for sharing passwords and stuff like that. It's like functionally. That's no different than having ten of your friends around to your house to watch DVD. It's, it's like, not even what's ten. The problem. It's like I, I'm going to face this actually because like I've got my Netflix account which I pay for, and primarily mm. my daughter watches it, and she's and she watches on her mobile from about ten million different Wi-Fi's. At what point is Netflix going to tell me I can't watch Netflix? Like at some <laughs> point they're going to clamp down on that, and it's like I'm using it actually legitimately, but if they clamp down on it, I will just cancel it. 
if you're making piracy easier, what's going to happen? Yep, it's just it's a load of bollocks, and I don't know what companies think they're doing, but it's just con- contributing to the whole burned web thing, right? Yeah. But people don't really seem to give a shit, so I guess we just keep going. Right. Unless less depressing notes, Intel are no longer creating nooks. I thought we talked oh, no. about, oh, hang we on, talk about hang this on, last week. Hang on. Are you are you are you looking at the wrong thing? I I'm we're, we're leave topics to last, right? I finished. Actually, I mentioned this fucking weeks ago, but I mo- I kept moving it around because we kept running out of time. I finished close enough. That was from the regular show, ma'am. It was real good. It's like regular oh. show, just without, without you know. The the. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. They're, what not, a they're not pretending show is. it's aimed for kids anymore. Oh. It's, yeah. it's like a more adult version of regular show. It was good shit. I'm not going to say much about it. If you know what it is, you know what it is, right? It was good. It got cancelled as part of HBO's "We're going to cancel everything animated" thing. But it was. It's worth. Don't watching. worry. It had weird. If Star Trek can get cancelled, you know what mm. I mean. It had weird Al in it. It was good. He got he got eaten by a bear. I remember when I watched Gallivant for the first time and Weird Al turns up and I was just like, what is happening? But more importantly, the the thing, the movies me and Matt watched, me and Matt spent, we watched the Irish Folklore Trilogy. What is? is three, I've clicked yes, on that. Yes, okay, so there's three movies. This is one of those Blu-ray boxes that I don't want. So it's $60? It's 60 euro. Uh... So these are three movies by a little Irish animation studio. Then I can get the tri- is... I can get the cheapy box set for forty euro. That's more like it. Yeah, well, I mean, I just linked to this one because it's a nice box, right? So these, okay. yeah, they made these three movies, which were spread out quite a lot. So uh, we did we watched them in order. We watched the Secret of Kells, which is do you know what the Book of Kells is? I'm not entirely sure what Ireland is. The Book of Kells is a very famous book. It's you should know it. It's about Christian stuff. It's a an illuminated manuscript. What the, the Book of Kells? Yeah, the, the Book of book Kells. Of... It's it's an illuminated manuscript, which is uh, a thingy. Formerly mm-hmm. prepared document where the text is decorated and mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. basically Roman Catholic Church stuff. Basically, it's a fancy thing that they brought around to go look Catholicism. It looks fancy, right? Often, I mean, often, it worked, uh, didn't it? In, your, in Ireland's case, it worked. Yeah. Uh, often, you know, it, this book was stolen many times because the original cover was had jewels on it and the pages had gold and shit like that. It's you know, but you know, it's it's quite a fancy book. The movie was is a uh, what a mythical retelling of how of of it being made. Oh, that sounds alright, actually. Yeah, it's definitely the weakest of the three movies, but it was also made very early in the studio's lifetime. Uh, Animation wise, it's it's fine, but you know. Uh, the secret of kills. The you jumping, watching these movies in a row, you can see the very obvious improvements in their their styles. Uh, the three movies have different art styles, but you know, it's nice. It's about this. There is the there is the evil. The, well, not evil. There's right. So kills mm-hmm. is is a town in Ireland where mm-hmm. the book was originally made or mm, ish the history around the book is very vague yeah. all over the place but originally it was a walled 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 town to keep out invaders and shit uh, so the movie's about a boy I forgot his name but uh, then there's the abbot of the town who's basically the leader who doesn't want anyone going outside the walls. So the boy goes outside the walls and then he meets... Like an attack girl. on Titan. 
Yes. And then he meets a fairy girl who's like a wolf. Uh, they go on many, they go on adventures, you know, it's, it's, yeah, eventually the town is of course invaded by Vikings and the book's stolen and he assumed dead, but yeah, I won't, I won't go too much into it, but it was, it was fine, it had, like I said, it's the weakest of the movies, uh, in both story and visual, but you know. It, it was fun. It was worth watching if you're going to watch the Tree of the Money. Well, uh, Song of the Sea is much better. Uh, this is about a sulky girl. Well, uh, there's so there's a boy and his father and his sister who live on a lighthouse island. Uh, she can't talk, which you you know find out early on. It's because she's a sulky and her she doesn't ever cope. Selkie is like their mythical creature, they're like their seal when they're in water, when they're on land they look human, but their seal skin turns into a coat. The so, fuck? Oh, have you not heard of Selkies? No! That sounds mental. Ah, there is, there's another one that's very similar called Meros, which are kind of like the Irish version of mermaids, only that when they come out of water they have a red cap. Okay. Yep. Folklore is mental, I love it. Uh, but yeah, basically their weird aunt drags them away onto land because she doesn't like the fact that they're on the island. Uh, and then the girl starts fucking dying because, you know, <laughs> don't have her coat, not near not near water, all bad stuff. But yeah, it's the this adventure of getting her, figuring everything out with many a fairy. This one's set in... So the Secret of Kells was obviously set fucking hundreds of years ago, but this one's more... I I don't think they ever actually say, but it's kind of late 90s, early 2000s Ireland. Right. Uh, which which they've done very well. Uh, but yeah, that one was that one was much better. My, yeah, much, much better animated, and his story was much more engaging. Okay, and then Wolf Walkers, I assume, is about a wolf that loses coat and then he leaves the forest. No, oh, Wolf Walkers. This this one actually has a, the main character. Well, one of the main characters. And this one is actually English. Oh, good. <laughs> Something sensible. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's 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 the English. Oh, what century was this one in? This one was a bit older. It was back in the days of you know the British stepping on the Irish. Well, basically, uh, English girl and her dad come to Ireland. He is he's a hunter, but he's basically hired by the town they're living in to go into the forest and kill all them wolves because they want to expand the town. But there is there's another girl in there. She's a wolf walker. She could turn into a wolf at night time. Uh, this. Last time I watched an animated film about wolves, someone fucked one of the wolves, and I did not like it. That's true. That was a good movie. It was not a good movie. That was bollocks. I hated it. I just hated all of it. It was rubbish. That was that was wolf children. Yep, it was awful. That was good. Uh, there's there's no fucking in this. I don't believe you. No. Uh, what's his name? Sean Bean is in this, and he doesn't die. Oh, I hate Sean Bean as well. Oh, he's not in it that much. But yeah, he's he's the dad. But this one, this one's really nice. What you call it? Well, my internet is disconnected, so I'm not sure how this screen's going to go. Well, I can still hear you. Well, apparently, the stream keeps going offline, so I'm sorry, YouTube, it's not me. There's nothing happening. Yeah. I'm not even down so... there. Yeah, so the the humans are very cleanly drawn, basically, and then anything in the forest has got like sketchy lines and stuff. Uh, and that that leads up to this really cool moment to do with the animation near the end, which I shan't spoil. But yeah, no, it's it's a beautiful movie. I re- we really like this one. But they overall three movies together. There was great. Ah, uh, there was by small Irish studio, all about folklore and stuff. So there's good. The Cartoon Saloon. Cartoon Saloon. Cartoon Saloon. They, yeah, they have done 
they have actually branched out and they've ended up doing some some stuff for other bigger studios but yeah we are going to watch their other movie the breadwinner which is not folklore related but we've watched where we have planned to watch that at some point but yeah yeah wolf walkers if you only but if you're only going to watch one of these movies i'll probably go with wolf walkers it was the most fun although i really like song of the sea as well it was more solemn i guess <laughs> I'm I'm confused about them charging twenty four ninety nine for three enamel pins. Everything on that way on everything on that store is just is just an excuse to give them money, really. Like it's all technically overpriced for what it is, but you know. But again, this is the problem I was talking about. If I just want to chuck them, you know, twenty quid, I don't want anything. Like, I'm not saying some of this stuff, there's not some nice stuff on this website, but I don't want any of it. I don't want stuff. You know? Um, there's some very there's, there's some very pretty things on this, but I don't want them. Yeah, no, I'm... Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got, like, yeah, like, this is a running thing we've had recently, right? Like, we're just like, yeah, I want less stuff. I want less stuff, not more stuff. I want less of it. Yeah, I don't want anything. Just leave me alone. I mean, if you want stuff, that's fine. But I don't yeah. want stuff. No, I'm the same. I'm not against people wanting stuff. You want stuff? Yeah, good for you. It's, it's great. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't. Go away. Just fucking... Yeah, I don't know. Just... Just give me a way to... Yeah, give you stuff without... Without getting something in return. I don't need anything. Got some mugs, I guess. <laughs> I don't even want a mug. I've got a mug. I don't, I don't want a mug. I've got. We've got too many mugs. Got a mug. Don't need another one. That is that is a cute seal. It's very fluffy looking. What are you, what are you what are you looking at? I I can't see what you're looking at. I'm looking for a for a fluffy seal there. There you go. Oh, that is a cute seal. Uh, Moon Pope said Mattel are hacking hex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it feels like it, yeah. I'm not doing, like, my internet, there's nothing, daughter's not here, laptop's in standby, closed Steam, my internet's just being shit, so I don't, I don't know what's happening. Hex. Um, you see the seal? Yeah. Yeah. Say its name. Um, seals. <laughs> Saoirse. Seals. With Mr. H.O. Yeah. No, I, that's not how Irish works. Sears. 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 I'm stuck. Saoirse. Saoirse. So, anyway, yeah. we, also, we also watched Nimona, which is the new Netflix movie that came out. Nimona. I actually said I sent I sent Hex some screenshots of this actually. You did send me some screenshots. That was quite good screenshots. Again, yeah. have to go to Wikipedia so I don't get a weird fucking takedown. Um yeah. Um yeah, actually I never left a link on that. Oh well. Um This is this was good. We quite like this overall. Has some nice music. I, I wish it wasn't three D. It would have been better if it wasn't three D. The the scenes where shit is happening, where important stuff is happening, is very well animated. But everything else kind of feels like they gave up. Like like what? Oh, this is right. So this is it. Starts off with that that main guy, the the knight in the black armor. He's basically accused of murdering the queen in this medieval sci-fi city. Happens. Uh, which yeah, he's 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 clearly set up for this. Uh, he goes. He runs off, escapes after his boy after his boyfriend cuts off his arm. But whatever. Uh, and then Nimona shows up, and she's like, "You're evil. I like you." Okay. And then fun ensues with him trying to clear his name and her trying to tear down the system. <laughs> that sounds alright. Yeah, but she is a very pink shapeshifter, like Barbie. Mm, sure. But yeah, 
it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. I actually, I actually went and I bought the comic for this. It's, it's. They seem to have. They've apparently made a decent amount of changes, but you know, whatever. I picked it up. See, I I picked up the comic digitally. It was on the Kobo store for a fiver. Oh, Thank that's you. Not bad. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, the same person co-created another series called Number Janes, which also looks interesting. I'll, I'll look into that later. But, I'm a yeah, bit confused. This... Is this set in modern cyberpunk world, or is this set medieval in medieval cyberpunk land? movie? No, both. It's no. like it's like okay, it's like think knights, but with lasers. <laughs> You've just described <laughs> He Man. Okay, yeah, could, yeah, some similar, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Less monsters, but yeah, basically they they live in sci-fi night's city that, you know, another movie where they live in a walled city because the outside is full of monsters. Just like Attack on Titan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. I I liked it. I, I actually, it was a movie we were kind of like, this is good at the time. And then I just, I don't know, I keep thinking about it after the fact. Oh, it's good so, when they rattle yeah. around, right? If they rattle around, it's a yeah. good sign. Yeah, no, I think overall it's very good. It has some suspect animation at times, but other than that, it's got that. It's, it's that kind of weird Netflixy animation, right? Yeah, ne- there's a look to Netflix animation. It's because they won't pay animators enough to do a proper job. Mm. This movie was kicked around a bit. It did actually originally start as I think. I think Disney bought the original studio that was going to do it. And then cancelled it, so it was kicked around a bit before it ended up on Netflix. So it's not, I'm not like sure Disney, it, yeah. But yeah, overall it was very good, and um, yeah, it's it's definitely worth watching. People have made tons of videos in this fucking thing. It's it's quite popular. Uh, it's got it's got a lot of fans and LGBT subtext in general. Oh, Disney won't so, like that, will they? Well, I mean, the main character is gay, and yeah, Disney so, would have changed know. that straight off the bat, wouldn't they? Who knows? It was fun. It had it had a lot of fun moments. Like I said, it's still rattling around up there, but yeah, I we quite enjoyed it. It was fun. And, what uh, else is on the list? I, I, I the list, the list. Is your is your stream back? I forgot to check. My stream, it just be, it just keeps going down a little bit and coming back. I'm just doing no. There's not a lot I can do with it. So like, it's, it's tough, it's, I guess. <laughs> it's just I don't know. Not a lot I can do about it. Um, I did yes, some. Yes, I, it's still there. I, I did. I did. I did games. You did games. I did games. So imagine um, doing games. Yeah, it's not like me doing games, but I have done. Uh, on my MiU Mini, which for anyone that missed the last week's show, this is a MiU Mini. It's a tiny Game Boy that plays retro games perfectly legally. Everything I say about games is satire because I would never pirate ROMs. But if uh, satirically, um, as part of the performance, uh, I played uh, I played Harvest Moon on the NES. I played Oh Holy Hex Diver. Owns all these games yeah, physically. Like them all. Um, you know, there's a song called Holy Diver from the eighties. Um, and it's 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 a Ronnie James Dio song. Is it Ronnie James Dio? Anyway, it's a great it's a great song, right? It's a great song. Holy Diver. Holy Diver. It's a great song, and for reasons I don't Is that understand. Like Tiny Dancer. No, it's very different. Tiny Dancer's a good song. That's, that's 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 kind of what went into my head, and I was just like, "Hold me closer, Holy Diver." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, for some reason I don't anyway. understand though. There's a game on the NES of Holy Diver. And it was the weirdest thing. It's just a weird Castlevania ripoff with like a weird 8-bit Holy Diver reminiscent sound. It's it's a really weird game, but I played quite a bit of it. I mean, this isn't it. I searched for Holy Diver and there's there seems to be a picture of a priest drowning and a demon over his head. No, that's just fantasy art, I guess. Um, I played Haley Wars on the Game Gear and I got stuck at the same point I did when I originally owned it when I was 11, um, which is a bit disappointing. Um, and I played uh, The Last Starfighter on the NES, which is a great game that everyone should play. Um, and I played Shining Force, but I'm not going to bore from Shining Force again, but I've played quite a bit Poor of Shining, Shining Force. Force. 
Uh, yeah, Charlie Force and Tetris are just the games I just sort of go to. I think at this point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, like... it's good. It's good that you have actually gotten a lot of use out of the Miu. Not yeah. not that you didn't think you would, but you know. I'm playing like I'm playing a lot on it, um, and I really enjoy it. Like I'm really enjoying just bouncing around and sampling shit. And I know that's kind of like game radio HD, but there's things I actually play. Then I'll just like because I, I put the whole of the '90s on it pretty much. I'm just like I'm just trying to sample every Mega Drive game, sample every SNES game. You know, like just go down the list, I try mean, them all. That's, yeah, that's good, and it's kind of enjoyable. Whatever like, works. You know, when we like when we're watching TV and stuff, and it's just like you know, it's like I've seen Star Trek a lot over the years. Don't need to pay that much attention to it. So I'll just, like, sample a bunch of SNES games or something while I'm doing it. And it's, yeah, highly recommend the Miu Mini. Um, still think it's a great investment. In fact, if all my other gaming devices vanished and they never Miu, you, I'd probably be fine forever. <laughs> Which was, is a weird statement. What was, what was the one with the dumb name that Hangman got? Oh, Hangman got a Pow Kitty. Um, our friend Hangman got a Pow Kitty 2023. Which is something very uh, similar, Pow right? Pow Kitty 2023. The Pow Kitty, uh, there you go, the Pow Kitty official store. I'm bringing it up on my stream. Uh, Pow Kitty 2023. I haven't looked at Hangman's yet. We haven't been for breakfast, so I haven't got to play with it yet. Uh-huh. Um, but it is a the Pow Kitty 2023. Um, I'm just trying to find the fucking the actual consoles. Handheld players. That's a handheld player, apparently. Um there is the one he got. The Power Kitty 2023. The RK 2023 is the one he picked up. Um, which is a very... It's It's got the controls to the sides of the screen instead of below, so it's a little bit bigger by nature. It's got two SD card slots instead of one, which is just, you know... I'm not quite sure what the benefit ah, is, is yeah. but, you know, whatever. You, you can you can, you can can put it in there. Um, stereo speakers instead of mono, like the, like the MiU. Um, and just, yeah. very much more powerful device... Um, it's a much more much more powerful device than the MiU um, at the expense of battery and port. And I would say portability, but I haven't seen Hangman's to really comment on it. Um, it also plays. It's supposed to be. It doesn't look that big. It's not huge, but like this is like the size of a pack of cigarettes. Like it's smaller than a pack of cigarettes. It's like you can just oh, drop this in any jacket, and that's about as portable as anything can be. Um, but like yeah, and the fact it hasn't got sticks either makes you you can just put it flat against stuff because it doesn't have sticks. So yeah. oh, it's got yeah, sticks is automatic. This does have it. sticks. So sense. unlike the MiU Mini, which just craps itself when you load up certain PlayStation games. Yeah. This will play be able to... This will play, yeah, this will play everything right the way to Dreamcast without a problem, I would think, where mine goes up to mine stops at the first generation of PlayStation, so as soon as Dual Shot comes out, it's just done. Um but the early generation of PlayStation stuff I play I play I play a lot of I've played a lot of um, Tony Hawk on it. It's absolutely fine. Um, no problems at all with that. Um, but the Power Kid is much is more powerful, and yeah, and Hangman got a pretty good price. Um, it's it's yeah, eighty four US dollars. I did I did like how it, for like two weeks it said it hadn't shipped yet, and then <laughs> then it, it arrived shipped, at his house. And then it turned up the next day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but whatever. I'm uh, I'm next time me and Hangman hang out. He's gonna bring it with him, and we're gonna have, and we're gonna do a little bit of compare get get sort of like side by side uh, comparison. But it should be a very similar experience to me you but with a little bit more a little bit more horsepower because it's got more ram and a slightly more powerful processor it's only slightly more powerful it's the extra sticks i think that said that give it the extra or that give it the extra compatibility um yeah yeah um for me because i just genuinely just wanted to play 16 bit the the, the me was definitely the right device but hangman wants wants dreamcast um so he picked the right device for him it's gonna be interesting though because even though i don't want stuff i can kind of see myself Trying to find smaller and smaller emulators. <laughs> you can see myself eventually have once like an this atom. This isn't big... Hangman's, but I was just going through Power Kiddies, and this one's got a little smiley face. <laughs> oh yeah, that's um, that's actually yeah, I've seen that do the RGB twenty S. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the same internals as Hangman's, but like a much stupider layout. <laughs> like a much it's got a layout. happy face on it. It though. does have a happy face on it, which is cool. Um, yeah, I think the thing. I think the thing. I think. I would like because this is the, my MiU Mini is the MiU Mini Plus. I would like to get an original MiU, which is like slightly smaller, but they're really hard to get. Um, but I think the original MiU might be like just small, just a little Miu bit smaller. Is smaller. Yeah, the the MiU is smaller than the MiU Plus, the MiU Mini, because uh, mine's actually a MiU Mini Plus. There was a MiU Mini before that. There was a slightly smaller uh. version. Um, I do like the idea of having a smaller handheld because um, like. I Weirdly, mean, the I mean, screen isn't really a problem. It's not like I'm squinting at it. I don't know. I feel like 
I mean, yours even looks like it'd be too... I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it's fine, but I feel like I'd find it uncomfortable to use. Um, Yeah, it's. I mean, part of that is because, like, of the, the way the way you hold the me if you look at the way my hands lie on it um it's like it's actually like it's easy to get those two triggers i put the back of my finger with this trigger i mean yeah it, no that's fine it's, like, it's, it's just... a pretty good design um i know. mean handheld gaming i've just it was never really a thing i yeah. enjoyed but you know i if someone if i honestly if I could just get a me you with a clamshell design that like just mm. just the only yeah that'd be great even the 3ds that's like the that's like the only proper handheld i had i mean i had a switch but i always used the dock but even even yeah. the 3ds i couldn't use for very long it was just crampy i don't know um, i don't think i've compared it so glad i'm wearing trousers so glad um so compared to a 3ds um it's actually smaller st- standing up than a 3ds yeah no that's um, what that's 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 what i'm saying yeah. even the 3ds didn't feel very comfortable to like, me like it's a if you turn the 3ds on its side it's like it's about the same it's just a little bit taller than me but yeah, no, i know i got you have that wooden 3ds my 3ds my 3ds if anyone's not seen my 3ds i had the world's best 3ds right um i've got a wooden i've got a wooden design wooden clamshell case on it which is actual wood grain which is a bit mental um I've got. I, I replaced the D-pad for um for the uh, for the PSP D-pad, the PSP C stick. Sorry, um, I've got the candy buttons on it, and I've got um. I might I might have a device in the bottom that will load other platforms games, um, and there's 128 gig inside it. Like yeah, this uh, this 3DS is tripped out. Anything you can do to a 3DS, this is pretty much had done. Um, I love this 3DS. It's one of my favorite consoles of all time. And you can prize it from my cold dead hands. <laughs> but that said, I've been playing my Me U more. I've also Obviously. accidentally turned on my 3DS. Um, Did I? So. Hmm. Yeah. Mm, I need to check something. Where is last week? Huh. Hmm? Fair enough. I thought I had it already here. I. I started. Did I, I? It's not on the list from last week. Did I say I started a new Spider Man? Uh, you did not say. No, you did. You did. Yeah, you did. Did I? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I'm still playing that. Uh, yeah. That's that's about all I've done this week. Play game wise. I will. I will actually. Do you know what? I'm gonna. I'm going to. I'm going to quickly. Also pull up. I was trying to find. A bookmarking thing forever and i still oh, think yeah. i might eventually end up writing my own one but i did find link thing and i've been using that for a few weeks it's very similar to pinboard which Wait, is what i was is it using link ding yes it's link okay. down there yeah i thought you said link thing not no ding. link ding right just check link ding link ding yeah but it's 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 very similar to it's like a slightly reskinned pin board, but it's very similar layout. I, I like it. I also have the the. It has a, a Firefox extension, so I just click things to drop them in there. It's great. Love it. Yeah, I used um, I used Raindrop for a little bit, well, for a couple of months, um, and I found myself putting a lot into the Link Saver, but not taking a lot out of the Link Saver. Um, yeah. Which was weird when I realised that, um, and now I'm just entirely all in on Readwise. I just shove every time I read something. I, if I did it earlier on the like, stream, uh, I just like shove I it. Same there. before, like I use Wallabag for articley type stuff, but for like resources, I use the bookmarking thing. But yeah, I do tend to. I will pull from it, but fact, you know, less so than Wallabag. But you know, to, I, to... I still like having them separate. To illustrate this, look, uh, my yeah. I've already put LinkedIn in Readwise. I forgot about it because my toolbar's just come up. So, <laughs> so yeah. great. Uh, and the other thing that we've been talking about for ages, which I may or may not be doing something on, my Cortiza is a wiki. It's great. I love it. Single binary works really well. I may or may not be trying to do a video on it. I've 
have been attempting, but basically, you should check it out. It's great. I did loads um, of it. It's easy. Just hit record and just. Yeah, I know you do. I've easy. done. I have. I don't know, like, f- literally twenty starts to a video that are yeah. still sitting on my hard drive. But yeah, um, I will. I'm tr- trying to do some kind of overview video, look around the thing for this. But I really like it. I've been using it as a notes replacement because I. For the longest time, I did just use Markdown files, and when you just get to a certain point where you just want something more robust, right? Um, but, yeah, basically, very good, and, you know, the, the, the thing I like is binary in a config file, just off it goes. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, pointed at a directory, and that's it. It's ironic that you say that as I'm using more Markdown files, though. Yeah, but you're using them via Obsidian. Yeah, it's true. But I'm still like. I mean, like, like these are these are basically. I mean, it's not Markdown; it's their own language. But yeah, you know, it's like... the same idea. They're plain. They're plain text markup. You know, but it's just it's it's the the ability to interlink notes and have media and you know stuff like that. It, it makes. I'm using it as a notes thing. It is technically a wiki software, but even the dev uses it as a fucking. He he his his thing is linked somewhere on this website, but it's just kind of, what well, what did he call it? A digital garden. It's just a collection of stuff. But yeah, I am I am also kind of in the middle of. Kind of transferring hexes. Denumod wiki notes from Notion into one of them to see how that works. Will if that ever becomes he's a thing? He's stealing. But... He's stealing Denim wiki. No, for tr- you, you wanted something more public, right? It's it's yeah, it's a thing I'm looking out on and off. But yeah, it's great. You should yeah, I will. I will do either a blog post or a video on it. I would like to see a video, but I would like to keep all the false starts in as like a blooper reel. Oh, like the first one. <laughs> yeah. I bet the first I, time I, I the fir- I literally hit record. I forgot about Discord, and a a, a message from Hex popped up in the corner. <laughs> I would like to think it's just you devolving into say into into like making fart noise with your mouth and shouting "fuck" at the screen. That's what I imagine it to be like. I mean that 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 yeah. <laughs> Like honestly, like I think I've been doing. I've done so many YouTube at this point. I'm just like I just hit record. I don't even pre play. I don't even pre think about what I'm gonna say anymore. I just hit record, which is probably why the quality of my videos is so incredibly Ooh, low. Sorry, I've, I've <laughs> forgot to check the YouTube thingy. Andrew Singleton has watched Song of the Sea and says it has amazing music. It do. It's good. It do be good. Hmm. Andrew Singleton says so. Yeah, but but yeah, I may eventually get it out. Yeah. What? How? How long? Can we? Uh, we've been going fifty six minutes or fifty eight minutes already. Yeah, we did say we'll keep we it can, short. But yeah, um, go on. I'll do. I'll do. Last week we said Nooks was stopping being made, and this week, or rather last week, uh, Intel handed Asus license to make Nooks. So non exclusive. So they have, they have obviously planning on allowing several companies to do this. Mm-hmm. But yeah. It's interesting they went with Asus first because I actually almost, prior to getting my current Nook, Asus already make mini PCs with AMD chips that I almost got, called like the PN59, 51, 50, yeah, something like that. They already make those, so it's interesting that Asus give them a contract or a license for making Nooks. I mean, they've got the skills, right? It's proven the quality and if they can yeah. guarantee quality and stuff, that seems reasonable. Yeah. I'd be interested to see, yeah, because I mean, the, yeah, the thing that generally comes with the Intel side of stuff is you get Thunderbolt, right? So, yeah, really you get good. Thunderbolt with Intel, not with AMD. But I'm that's what I'm saying. I mean, I've got a Thunderbolt port on my laptop. I I don't like in theory I could use the I don't I can use an XLA GPU. I've got one XLA GPU. I mean I don't like, use I don't use Thunderbolt. Like, yeah. But you know, it's it's a thing that people look out for. Yeah, I it guess, is. People you know? look out for it, but I'm not sure what what it's useful for us. I'm not sure what the relevance to us I is. I don't think it is. I mean, I'm still I'm still running my my little nook for my server from last week. It's great. I love it. 
<laughs> no problems. Yeah. But yeah, worth pointing that out. Uh, what else uh, is there anything actually worth talking about here? Uh, actually, speaking of Thunderbolt, you had a dock problem. Oh, I, I made a video about my dock problem though, so I feel like I've oh, burned through that content. Yeah, okay, I did actually make fine. a video about that. Uh, Basically, my dock, my I don't know if it's my dock or my laptop, but I'm assuming it's the hardware of my laptop because Intel. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Well, I did make a video about it. Um, um, yeah, the video game study. This is worth reading. But basically, it's they did a, a study on games up to 2010, and you basically can't legally acquire like 70% of games anymore. I hate this website. I just hate this website. <laughs> no, it's not a great website, but they have they have several pages on this about game history and stuff. I like the con the content of the website is good. This is worth reason reading, but it's like they're they're looking into this stuff and also trying to I think it I think it they're, they're basically they're they're I mean it's it's in their name history foundation they want to be able to show games in places and the can due to legal bollocks but I do. there is there's a lot of studies of you know they're they're doing a lot of studies of you know the fact that you literally can't legally acquire this stuff for yeah they're proving reasons. their case right yeah basically but yeah, it's just it's ended up, you know, some interesting data has come out of it, and you know, that is a, like a ridiculous amount. Of, like, right? Well, well, you know, it's hundred percent. Like, a lot of games are shit, and nobody needs to yeah. see them. But like, there's a lot of popular shit in 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 here that you, you know you can't get. The Game Boy is the one, you know, because there was a lot of Game Boy games. I mean, I've, you know, obviously, it's not, it's not even. I mean, Game Boy, yeah, but I mean, but like, was it only this year the the three DS and the Wii U shop shut down. You can't get any of those but games. Even so, right? Yeah. Like the fact that I can only actually get five point nine percent of the total Game Boy family library is mad. Because like, yeah. like, if you said how many Game Boy games are going to go, thirty percent are worth playing. I've roughed off the top of my head. So if they said 20% are available, I'd go, okay, we've probably got the good ones. But like at 5.9% available still, that's, yeah, that's shocking. And that's, that's I'm pretty sure that's av- available, like this is officially available. Yeah. So that's through the bollocks emulator thing on yeah. the Switch, which is way too expensive. And and you, you, you can't get those physically. So it's, you know... And you can't take them off the switch either, so it's it's bollocks. It's not a real number. I do like how the actual article's got whatever. I can still pirate these games. It's like, yep, <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, that's that's the yep, yep, you know what you yep, come across, that. but the, that's 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 the power where they go into why it needs to be legal. You know, yeah. I think yeah, well, it it's, will. It's, part of the reason, again, this is performative only. I would never really do this, but part of the reason I have a hard drive with all of my ROMs on backed up in multiple places is because i think there's going to be a point in the future where they're going to lock the internet down to the point where you just won't be able to get this stuff like i it's gotten so but actually google's doing that stupid web integrity thing which yeah. i think that that if That's that ever actually go, goes anywhere which was I, i'm sure people have heard of it by now but google proposed this well google not officially google but the the web integrity check four people from google proposed it um so you know uh basically it's where where your browser or sorry a website will be able to tell your browser it well ask your browser if it's modified in any way you know add-ons basically and it, like straight up on on the on the proposal page, one of the first things mentioned is ads. So it's, it's literally just looking for ways to stop ad blocks. I mean, what's kind of brilliant about this is it. You said it before; it's an arms race, right? But sooner mm. or later, they're gonna make websites streamed to you the same way YouTube is. They're gonna literally do Netflix, but with websites. At some point, they're gonna turn it into a video feed because that's the only way. To, that's the I only mean, way probably. to do it. I mean. They they continue getting more and more complicated. So I mean, I, I don't, I, it's weird, right? Because but 
we know for a fact most people consume the internet via their phone yeah. and via apps. Yeah. So it's like, why why do they care so much about the web, like browser internet, when the vast majority of the world doesn't use it? Like, it's a percentage of a percentage of people that even have ad blockers. Like, why do they care? I don't know. I th- ah, thing is, though, like, sure, if we're talking about, if Google's got 100 million it. users and only 10% use ad block, that's a lot of users. I mean, that's true, but it's, yeah. I mean, people keep talking about a potential, you know, splitting of the internet. I'm not it's sure gonna if it's ever going to happen. Gonna happen. I, I'm not sure if it's ever going to happen. We're going to have if it does... the corporate web and the user web and the two will be so separate that some you'll just you'll log onto the corporate web for your Netflix and your Amazon and then you'll close it down and load up your community browser for the rest of the internet and that's the only way it can go to separate them and then slowly over time the one will feed into the other and eventually they'll get remerged and then we'll start again because that's what happened the first time. Cuz originally you had the web and you had news boards. And then you had news groups and stuff. And then slowly over time, the yeah. one feeds into the other. It's just going to happen again. And it will have this every 20 years. And I'm okay with yeah, that. Yeah, okay. They're, Fair. They're, they're Whatever, around. I guess. Yeah. Well, I think that's 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 basically it. This, the web is shit. Yeah, uh, also... <laughs> over that um, also, just before we go, I know we're over time already, and it's now my fault. Um, but like, I just want to say, like, I'm still messing with Obsidian, and I am... Very impressed. X um, has done so many videos on Obsidian. He's such an Obsidian this, wanker. I mean, I, the problem is it feeds into my productivity wankery. I did set an entire stack. The thing I want to talk about, I set an entire stack up today of Obsidian notes, um, Obsidian tasks, sorry. So I, I, I replicated my entire task workflow, my to-do workflow, inside Obsidian, right? Yeah. And that is not a viable alternative. I don't care what the product, what, what the Obsidian Wait, the, the to do is. Yeah, stuff. you... You can set up like an entire task management system inside. Inside, yeah, yeah, I think it. you start yeah. showing me. This I, that's what I spent my morning doing. Well, I spent last night and my morning sort of setting this up because I was like, "Let's just go all in for a second and let's just see what it looks like." It is not. It is not. I, I know people might be using it, but like, he's not good. So do what I did was I just embedded to do list inside. Yeah, yeah I mean that works. Do you do you, like? Do you potentially see yours? Like, do you see, potentially see yourself using Obsidian instead of Notion or using the two beside each other? I could... See, I would have said... Well, at the start of all this, early on in this little journey I'm taking, I would have said, yeah. no, Obsidian... Obsidian's an interesting thing, but it's not necessarily something I'm going to be able to move to. Um, and then in the middle of me messing with all this, Notion had an outage. <laughs> Like, like, it wasn't a big outage. It lasted about forty minutes, where they seemed to not be able to serve all users. And then yeah, I so kind of, thought, and then I kind of thought, I was like, and it, I thought it was just me. And I was like, oh, I must be a VPN thing yeah. or something. And then someone Somebody in that chat group Discord, was like, yeah. "No, she's not working." I was like, all of a sudden, I was like, "This, I feel like this is illustrating the point here." Um, <laughs> I just was like, mm. you, know, you know that thing where you should never trust a corporation. Yeah. Uh, now, and, Obsidian is a closed source and paid for. But I feel like to get away with it because the data is plain text. Also, I can just install Zetla and use the same library. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, whatever. Um, I must say, though, like, Obsidian, yeah, Obsidian is closed source, uh, but, if, like, yeah, just I don't feel like update it doesn't ever. matter if your data is plain yeah, text. I like, I will, I'm, I can let that sway, you know? I mean, I'm, it's I'm not, not ideal. Not but... ideal. I mean, I'm not, I'm not hardcore false bro person you know i, I would for open source i solutions, would say though but, you know. one of the examples i can't really show because i don't want to make any of my notes public obviously but one of the yeah. things you have with workflows if i'm inside i've got word open on one side of my screen and the other side of my screen i've got notion open right and i'll have it like shrunk down a little bit and i'll just keep my character on work and character i'm writing at the moment i'll have their profile loaded um and then another tab I'll have a, p- a plot point loaded, and I'll just be like referencing it while I'm writing. Not hugely heavy stuff, right? But then I'm typing. I'm like, okay, so I'm, I'm going through the. I'm like, okay, I just need to note something down about look something up about this character. What I can't remember what color jacket this character's got at this point in the story. So I'll move my mouse over to Notion, and I'll, and then I've got to go to the sidebar that slides out. P 
pick the character and it goes and i have to wait for it to load right notion is so slow no I will, well, that's like, the, that is like, i one did of, not one of the things that piss me off about it it's not just it's the navigation as well because like everything's in that sidebar because i've stopped you i mean i've stopped using the sidebar and i wrote my own synced block that's like a quick jump thing and even that feels mm. slow but like and if there's like the and if like it's slow it it doesn't sometimes it does a thing where it doesn't load and you have to refresh it before it loads which is kind of annoying but like i have always been like, i just shove all my files in there it doesn't matter it's still like better than anything else i've used but then when today i was Hello, fucking around with something hey uh i had today I, I was messing around with something right and i had obsidian open instead right oh my god that is it's literally in i click loaded like literally instant right and then because of the quick swap the quick thing i've installed the uh, the recent plugin and because i've got the recent plugin like boom i can just flip between two notes like so easily because it's tabs can be cycled with control tab it just feels like it just feels so it feels like a more modern piece of software which is ludicrous because it's using text files which are literally the oldest thing right but it just feels zippier and it feels okay, and it is electron still and it yeah still feels yeah. faster it just feels instant and i mean i i installed it the other day when we were looking at it i'm just like yeah the the differences are ridiculous yeah uh, there's a couple of problems with it that I've grow, that I've grown some out. Oh, and that's... I mean everything has its problems. Oh yeah, but a couple of the problems are um, the way the way it handles file syncing. Like there's sometimes when I just want to drop a, a random zip file into Notion, and Notion just goes, "All right, doesn't care, right?" Um, and I have done some tweaking, and now I can drop a random zip file into Obsidian. But that was a little bit of work to sort out. But I feel like whatever I'm sorting out in my vault and configuring, it stays configured like forever like i don't feel like it's gonna stop working at some point so even though it feels hacky it feels the kind no, of hacky that they let me have um so yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm kind of I, I i made a video that said i think i was wrong about obsidian but the truth is i think obsidian's got a hell of a lot better and in a world where no applications are getting sl- like bizarrely worse obsidian is getting slowly yeah. better and it's going the opposite way to the curve and i think if that is good it's, it also has boosted your pr- productivity hex yeah hex la, hex's last video was two months ago and then he found obsidian again and he released five in a week <laughs> gonna record another one tomorrow <laughs> yeah yeah i'm gonna record another one tomorrow uh <laughs> but yeah i I just, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to make videos and I've got nothing to say. And because I've been working on writing stuff, I haven't had a lot to say. No, no. Um, and, I, and I have, and I joked with, I, I sort of said in the video that I was considering moving my long form content over to Obsidian, right? Um, but I kind of, that was just kind of like an abstract idea. I didn't think I was actually going to move away from Word. But after seeing how fast I can flip through files today, and I found, and I have fast like in the real world, it's just like bam, 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 like to, to zip around. Actually, I'm like, I maybe, I will, Rotman, how maybe is, I will rot maybe I will rot How is search in Obsidian? Is it? Oh, there's a plugin called it? Omni Search, which is just like the yeah. perfect search. But the actual yeah. search itself, you're better off using Control O, which is uh, which is like this file file quick switch. It's called, and it's like got search baked in. That does most things I want. But there is a, a plugin called Omni Search. Which is very fast, but yeah, it's is real fast. It's real fast. That's good. But yeah, but yeah. Anyway, I'll probably yeah, make more videos. We're about that. we're going to do an experiment or two over the next week, anyway. No, we're doing it today. Today, whatever. We're doing an experiment. Fine. <laughs> He's like, no, we don't watch a film. No. Uh, anyway, our friend Matt's waiting for us uh, in about ten minutes, and we need to go make a thumbnail and stuff. So, um, thank you for watching Trendy Talk. Uh, we are trying to shoot for shorter shows because our metrics tell us that if we keep it around an hour we get more views um, and while we're not driven by that it seems weird to bin views so yeah. yeah i don't have actually i do i the only metrics i have is how many viewers i've got <laughs> so yeah so thank you very much for watching i've been hex dsl that's been winging at wing at feather.onl you can get me at hexdsl.com and if you want the show notes we used to talk about this show that's trendy.hexdsl.com thank you Yay. goodbye bye I kissed the screen. I did the mwah and kissed it like, yeah, because I'm cool and that's what we do. Anyway, say goodbye, Wink. I did say bye. <laughs>